Hello guys, it's the program here yet with another video in the most Python RPG series. In this video we're going to be uh, looking at the, um, the new uh, Python file we created, Console Color. We're going to be making a couple changes to how this works. So currently we've got over here for bold, and we've also got this um, function which I'm going to change up over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create over here a function here called text and I want it to consist of is a string I want a string to get passed and I would like to get a colour also passed and then return to me the colour plus string that's, I think that's how we're going to do it so that means when I come over here can I do that or I should be able to say something like this test or not test uh, console color dot I should be able to say text and pass in two variables string and color so I should be able to pass in the string test for example comma and color dot oh I don't see bold there do I have to say console color yeah mm. Is there a way for me not to be able to... Oh, what I could do is one like that. I can say from console color import color. If I do that, then I should be able to do this. Color dot bold. Right? And if I just comment out this piece of text, Console color is not defined. Uh, that's because I have to, I know that was it because I've just done so that. Don't tell. Console. That can be color dot. Okay. That's because I've imported. Okay. That's an issue because I say from console color import. Well, first, import everything. From console color import everything. So then I sh can I say then? Can I say console color? No. So can I say text? I can say text. I can say text if I do it this way. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Trying to think then. Um. So if I just say import me console color, what happens is then? Over here, of course, over here I can say the console color dot text, right? Over here, does that work? It's not, it's not complaining. But when I say color dot, nothing appears. That's that's an issue. Um, I would have to say console color dot dot color dot bold. It's just fine actually. It would just be it'd be easier for it just color dot bold, but it's fine, you can do that. So there you go, test is equal to bold. Of course there's also other uh A and S I sequences we can do. So that, that's just bold, but we do have other ones. So we can say over here red is equal to um you can say red is equal to uh, slash u zero zero one b my 51M and you can actually google these if you just google NCI N A N S I uh, escape sequences you should be able to find it so now I should be able to say oh yeah I want this dot dot red right and there you go it's red but it's made everything else red and this is where we get an issue it then makes everything else red that that, that is a problem uh, what we can do to solve that is we could say oh yeah color plus string however then plus reset it and there's actually a reset there's actually a reset NCI color that we can do you can say the U uh, 001B uh, 0M so we can then say oh yeah and color dot reset so, just reset. can I do color dot right? 
Uh, do I just say console command now? Dot. Ready. Plus. It's moving this below this fixer. Plus color dot. I just get all these. I don't want that. I'm referring to this. I'm referring to the, I'm trying to refer to the class of color. This is getting confused because I'm doing it. Um <laughs> trying to refer to this color thing. I can't just say color dot reset. Can I? Does that work? Do I get what? Yeah, I get an error. Thing is, no attribute. No attribute. Uh, I want to refer to the class. <laughs> can't do this. Can't do self. No, I can't do self. Brackets. No? Yeah. Wouldn't do that. Um, well, there's one thing I can do actually. If I come over and say def reset reset color, actually, let me try to do this. Reset color and we will return over here is to return this. Use 001B0M. If I say that, can I then say here plus reset? No. That's annoying. But it doesn't have to be there. What I can do is I can just find over here and reset color. Right? I can just do this. I can do it over here instead. To be honest. Console. And then just get rid of this. Then I can say plus reset color. I can just do that, right? So then, if I do control F5, boom, it resets the color of the string. Cool. So that means the user doesn't, then doesn't have to be doing, oh yeah, then reset it. It will just reset. Don't put a breakpoint. Uh, it will then just reset by itself. That's fine. There's also uh, other ones. Um, let me do what else do I do? Let me do some other colors. Let's do green, for example. Green is equal to do. Uh, it's U zero zero one B thirty two M is the green. Um, oh, I think it's full green. Uh, yellow. Yellow will be um, thirty three. And then blue. Will be um, thirty-four. Magenta and cyan. I've still got over here. So magenta is the next one with thirty-five. And cyan is next with thirty. So we also have a white as well. There's also a black one. I don't know if you want to have black in a uh, in a black console unless unless you set your console to be white. I guess maybe. No, I'll add it though. Just above the red, so they're in order. Let's add it over here. Black. And black will be 30. So yeah. So now we can say the oh yeah, color dot. Let's make this cyan. And there it is, test is now inside of it. And what we can do is in, in the title screen that way. So what we can say over here is in the print line. And what we can say over here instead is we can say over here, oh yeah, console color dot text. We can pass here is all the string. Here's all the string. Let's also then pass over here the console color dot color dot cyan. And there you go, hyphen RPG becomes in cyan. And you can get rid of these two. Yeah, we can then also come over here and say, oh yeah, 
let's do here the border. Let's make this console color dot color dot, color, dot text. Um, map around all this. And we can say over here. Say comma color dot not color console color dot color dot. We can make um. Uh, we can make it. Uh, let's, let's see how the yellow looks. Here's the yellow. Let's assign it on to a different color. We can say over here, make it blue. It's blue. Say so make uh, make it uh, green. Okay, so green and cyan. Let's check it out then. I'm not exactly quite sure which colour to pick. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm actually not too sure which colour to pick. Um, what else do we have? We have console. dot got red as well. I don't know. I don't know which one to pick. Dot. Going with the green, I see both green sides. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Okay, um, what else? Um, so, what we should do is actually. So, here. We do still, we probably still want to add actually the border between, again, some borders over here. So, I've just realized that there is already space in between the asterisk over here, but how much? So, what we can do is we can have over here called a uh, new line is equal to asterisk. Then, what we can say over here, uh, new line, I say asterisk plus the line plus asterisk again then we can say over here uh looks like a print console color dot dot text and we can say over here print us the new line dot center with the console width by comma console color dot color dot cyan then we can get rid of this and see how it looks. Hmm. So we need to add some spacing, it seems. Also, it doesn't count for anything over here. If we were to do it like that. Hmm. I don't know if I'm even in if I even like the asterisk border. <laughs> um Um, we can either create is a proper border with our own code, or we could just use a different module, uh, a module to do it. I know there exist modules that we can do this. Uh, that we could actually you know, uh, create uh, borders, or well, the module I'm thinking about is creating a table, but it will look like a border. Um, we could just use one of those. Um, Is it installed? CMD. See, is that module installed? It's Python uh, underscore uh, Python n uh, pip install pretty table. And does it still have a hyphen? I don't remember. Okay, that's not it. Uh, install. Might not have an iPhone. Yeah, okay, it doesn't have an iPhone. Let's see, is it already installed? Okay, because what we could do is we could just, uh, just import over here. Um, just here one. And we'll just 
definitely pretty table. Is it all lowercase? Pretty table. Then what were named from pretty table? Well, you should have found it. Import pretty table. Yeah, they no problem. They found it. <laughs> do I have to close Visual Studio and reopen it? I might have to do that. Uh, let me just close this window. Let me reopen Visual Studio. Let's load up Python RPG. And here we go. So we've got got up here. Still nothing. Huh. Hold on. What Python? Have I That's why. Currently, I'm using the Python 3.6 uh, environment. I want to find the I want to use the 3.5 environment because that's where it's been installed. To. That's the default Python I use. It's Python 3.6 doesn't have all the modules updated to it, so that's why I use that one. So, what we what we can then do over here is let's get rid of all this printing this stuff. So we get rid of this. Get rid of all this. Printing this, we can actually solve this. This one lag. Right, comment all of that out. And if we do it right here, we create over here is um, main menu table equals uh, pretty table dot pretty. That should be a dot pretty table. Um, we can then say over here main menu table dot field dot field underscore names is equal to what we could say is equal to is equal to the data. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> then yeah, then print out then print out the main menu table. Let's see how that looks. Um, this interest must be interesting. So it's not a list. Uh huh. It's currently a list. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> Solution to that could be um, if I print out data. How does it look? Looks all like that, yeah. If I was to print data as a string, how does that look? It's hard to tell actually. Let me, let me comment out that and see. And it's not because of square brackets and stuff. Well, what we could do is we could just read the file. If we just read the file. What happens is. Yeah, we just want to print then the data. Yeah, we just read like a regular file. Um, which some of this is still complaining. <gasps> Control F five. This must be integer slice, not a string. This indices must be integer slice. Ah. Um, hmm. Well, what I could do is I could say over here, over here, data instead. Don't use that one. There we go, it creates this sort of thing, but of course it doesn't look perfect, does it? <laughs> Can't do data dot center. Oh yeah, it's okay. Face that as the data. This how it appears interestingly. Hmm. So maybe I can't be doing it as a table if it's gonna appear like that.
even if I did it here, main menu table dot dot add uh, I add dot column, and I could do it here data. Missing one required man. Uh, Then we shouldn't do as a table move. I do need to just create my own border stuff. My own border for my own border uh, method. So since prototype doesn't really work for us. Um, but you, it does work because it does like those new lines that get generated. <laughs> um, yeah, so because that doesn't work, uh, we're gonna have to create our own border, it seems like. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to call over here is a new function, let's say, uh, uh, append border, something like that. Uh, we append border, we're gonna pass over here the data, the data variable, let's get rid of this as well. So we're going to have here def um, append def append border and what we're going to have is going to have here is text def. text is going to get passed. We're going to have to have lines is equal to text dot split lines. We'll split each line. Uh, then uh, I want to get the width. That'll be by the max uh, length. Length. Oh. It's S for S in lines. This symbol uh, plus a hyphen multiplied by the width plus that symbol again. So what we're doing over here is we're saying, you know, do the corner, then the hyphens across, multiply that by the width, so the length of that string, and then the closing of that book is the other way around. So this the other way around. Then close off that border like so. Um, and yeah, you can do this. Well, this will multiply by width, and this will multiply uh, here the hyphen by the length. But you can actually do that in lists. Um, for s in lines, you can say is border dot append. Okay, this we're gonna now also append is the downwards um, character, I don't know what you want to call it, plus the plus the s plus space multiplied by the width. Then we're gonna go here and pass this thing again. We're gonna have a border dot append. Where we're going to have is now the bottom part plus the hyphen multiplied by width plus the end of the bottom part. We then, I guess, want to, to return over here is a new line or join to the border. So we probably want this to then equal to so if we go over here we want this to say when board this we want to say a new new data on a new data oh, no. then let's print out that data and let's see how it how it looks new data yeah how's that look looks like this not too too bad I guess 
back. Looks okay. Yeah, looks fine. Uh, oh, centre. Let's also centre that, please. Uh, yes, we need to pass over the console width. And you are not centering. Why aren't you not centering? Hey, it's centre. And you're not centering. Why are you not centering? Do I have to loop through you? Through for line in data. Print out me line dot centre by the console in new data. No, because then I would do like that. <laughs> if we were to do over here, let's say over here print new data zero. Yeah, that would just be that one. Um, so why, is, why are you not centering then? Before I would just say center and it would work. Oh, it would work. Print new data dot center by console width. That to me does not look like the center. Print me out the console width, please. Print me out console width. So why is it not um, centering? Also, I don't know if I want this this type over here, or if I would like pluses instead. So what I could do is instead is I still have these. I could just pluses instead instead of these. Plus and plus. Look like that. That's, that's a plus look better, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not centering. Interesting. Go with this, unless I was just to say print, print border. Yeah, that just as a whole list. Print it as a whole list. Okay. Push comment and center of this. So you try to return it as a string, which is what this is trying to do. Where is that? This is trying to return it as a string. Um although what we could say is instead of saying return, we could just say over here for um for So for x in border, let's see what it is. Let's see border print x. Does, is it line by line? Looks line by line to me. So can we say for line in border? Print line dot center pulse away. That works. Interesting. That works. Okay. So if that works, then what we can say is we don't return anything. Let's change this up. Let's call this um, uh, print with border instead. Print with border. And what I might potentially do is actually create a different class for this actually. So what I might actually do so here is add a new item. So I might rename console color. <laughs> Something else. Uh, but let's call, let's call this console text. Let's work with 17.4.1. Let's They want to call it module one. Console text. So we're going to have to have over here. Console text. Right? So that means we can then say. 
Quelqu'un que je traverse. So instead of us coming in here, we can say console text dot printer border. Uh, console is not defined. We need to. Okay, so we're going to have to pass over here also the console width. Potentially. Console width. Okay. Console width. Although we don't actually have to center it, do we? We don't have to center. Currently, that, that over there centers it. Over here, currently, it centers it. We don't exactly need to do that, do we? What we could say is, we don't have to do that, we could, um... Hmm. We don't have to touch center over here, what we could say is, we could say, oh yeah, just print us. Just print the length. Then, we could probably do something like this. Just print out the length. Well, not that, the line. We can say over here, just we can say then, uh, can we then say center? Center us um, the console width. Does that work? No, not there. How about inside the data? Let's see if that works. No, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's see, if I was to do string, um, string, uh, new text is equal to, is equal to this space, blank dot drawing from border, if I was to then return new text, will I still be able to center it? A bit, um, so instead we come over here, get rid of that. So here, console.print data, so over here, uh, new text or text with border text with border okay done it then if I try and say print now your text with border dot center console width no <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't exactly return very nicely does it doesn't that's why I guess they had the new line over here instead once again, it doesn't doesn't center it. Um, it's annoying. Um, that's annoying. Um, well, I could just return over here the border, couldn't I? I could just say, yeah, just return me the border, and that will return me the list, and then I could just loop through the list. Over here, then I can just over here for line in text with border. This is how we choose this to be line. So, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to put a cut in here because this video is already been quite, quite long. Uh, uh, so, the next video, we're gonna be doing more of this, more stuff, for example, with the main menu and stuff. Get this more, more nicely done. Um, subscribe if you wanna, if you know when I upload that video, and like this video if you did, and hope to see you guys very soon. Goodbye.